Hello everyone, this is Jacqueline. If you missed the Accelerate Synchro Conference, I want to highlight Time Performance Index, TPI, an interesting metric in Synchro Pro to measure the performance of tasks from the perspective of time. I consider this is another hidden gem in Pro, which is why I'd like to share in this Tips and Tricks video. TPI is similar to SPI, but it is for time only, which does not require a resource loading or cost loading schedule. Therefore, it is fast and simple. Details about how TPI is calculated in Pro can be found in Synchro Pro by pre pressing F1 on keyboard and search for the keyword TPI. In this video, I'll show how to display TPI columns in the task table, and how to color TPI cells using conditional formatting, in the end, how to color 4D models using task table column colors from TPI. Let's have a look now. A schedule baseline has been created for TPI to be calculated properly. Right-click on the column header in task table, display baseline duration, baseline start, baseline finish columns. For the TPI-related columns, we can display the TPI, time variance, and include in TPI columns. Select a baseline that was previously created, baseline TPI cells are populated and now displayed. Next, we can right click on the TPI column header and choose conditional formatting and choose by value. Here we can set up the criteria used for coloring cells based on different TPI values. Tasks with TPI values greater than one simply mean that these tasks are ahead of schedule. We like to mark those cells green. Tasks with TPI values less than one are behind. We like to mark those cells red. Tasks with TPI values equal to 1 are on time. We like to mark those cells in a lighter blue color, a Carolina blue in this case. Once this is done, all cells in the TPI column are filled with the colors based on the conditional formatting settings. To color the 4D model using the colors from the TPI column, go to 3D View Properties, Choose Task Table Column for Color Mode, then set TPI for Using Column. It is worth noting that immediately 3D View Legend is updated to reflect the TPI conditional formatting settings. Font size can be adjusted as you see fit. Focus time can also be enabled. You can then bring this 4D model to your trait coordination meeting to explain to your trait partners that certain area needs to be accelerated to avoid further delay. Do you like this tips and tricks video about TPI in Synchro Pro? Don't forget to share this with your colleagues, comment, repost, or reach out to us. Thank you.